The Aditio Princeps of the Peloponnesian War in Greek by Thucydides, printed by Aldus in Venice in May 1502. I'm Adam Douglas, Senior Specialist at Peter Harrington, and I'd like to show you this uh, very handsome copy. Um, if we open the book here, we'll see um, that this is one of the early Aldines. It's a folio rather than the smaller octavo format that he made famous later on. And here we have a very simple just Thucydides given in both Greek and, and Latin letters there. And um, the opening of the book here. And really, as with a lot of early books, especially Italian books, all the information we need is at the end of the book here. And we'll see right at the foot of the page the imprint showing that um, this book was printed in Venice by the great printer, the great Renaissance printer Aldus in May 1502. Now this is the first of a planned series of three books which he seems to have uh, um, planned uh, and set out at the same time that would be printed in Greek. And we'll see here the beautiful Greek type handsomely set out on the page. Um, and this really is the Renaissance. This is the revival of Greek learning, the classical Greek culture. Um, Thucydides, as the historian of the Peloponnesian War, was um, one of the most important figures, one of the three most important um, ancient Greek historians. And um, the descriptions that he gives of the war, the speeches that he assigns to the generals, which he, he gives in a, uh, gives them a verbatim as if he'd been taking down notes as they were spoken, that had a huge influence on, uh, well, in English, certainly Shakespeare. Um, the idea that you could recover the words of antiquity um, is here in Thucydides. And this is a beautiful piece of printing, um, the first printing in the original Greek. So Aldous had to have the Greek type cut for it, and he used it for these three books, of which this is the first. This copy here has um, some penwork initials, so Aldous would print little guide letters in the initial spaces, and then um, somebody might choose to have the letters added here. They're added in red penwork to the first gatherings. The um, initials do not go through the whole book, um, but they are a number of initials at the beginning, which look very handsome on the page. Uh, this is in an 18th century binding of red Morocco goatskin. Uh, it has the engraved book plate of an English collector, Michael Smith. And this is uh, quite typical of what might happen to Aldine's um, being collected later, that they would be rebound by this stage. The original bindings would be too distressed. Uh, and this is a handsome copy. The binder, as was typical with English binders at this date, has removed the two blank leaves that are all just left entirely blank. They're, they're not uh, bound here. The binder would have found uh, good use for such beautiful, strong, antique paper. And this is a very handsome copy of a major piece of Renaissance printing. For full details of this and other works of this era and by Aldous, please see the Peter Harrington website.